You are still with the Good Morning family and like I told you, we have conversations that you want to be a part of. And being Church of Uganda, Family TV, you know definitely that uh, the Bible is part of us. So we have somebody from the Bible Society of Uganda, Mr. Serumaga Peter Lumbuye, who is here to tell us about the translation of the Bible into the local languages. Sometimes we see a work done, but we never see the faces behind the work. So today we are privileged and he's going to be telling us how far they've come. Who are they? Do you want to be a part of them? How can you do it? So definitely stay with us and enjoy this conversation, but also get yourself a paper and a pen. You are welcome, sir. Thank you and the greetings from the board and the staff of the Bible Society of Uganda. Oh, yes. Uh, you see, he is the Acting General Secretary and the CEO Bible Society of Uganda. I would say, well done, sir. You've done such a great job. Thank you so much. And we also thank you for helping us to reach the mm. people of Uganda. Oh, yes. So today you are here to tell us about the translation works of the Bible into the local languages. And yeah, I have just told people that you are the CEO of Bible Society Uganda. So they must be asking themselves, what is the Bible Society? What do they do? Do they sell Bibles? <laughs> so we are going to hear what it is, where it's located and what it exactly does. The Bible Society of Uganda Mm. belongs to the United Bible Societies, which is a bigger body that is uh, considered to be the second largest organization in the world. So Bible Society is a national organization that we have in Uganda that deals with the translation of Bibles, their distribution, and then their engagement. So we translate the Bibles, and after translating them, we distribute them to the people and ask them to engage with the word. So in brief, that's what we do. Mm. But under translation, we make sure that we translate the scriptures mm. from the Old Testament is translated from Hebrew and Aramaic. Mm. And then the New Testament is translated from Greek. Mm. We do this translation for people to understand the scriptures, to understand what God is communicating to them. And that's why we make sure that uh, we have them in the languages that people understand best, mm. languages of people's heart. Mm. And then after the translation, we, I te technically use the word distribution, not selling, just because, <laughs> that, uh, because translation takes us a long time. Mm. To translate a New Testament takes us between three to five years wow. and then an old testament takes us between eight to 12 years wow. so meaning the whole bible roughly if you have a good team of around two translators competent translators then mm. you'd be counting between eight to 12 years and uh, remember that the bible has so many verses mm. so for the six bible of 66 books would have 31,102 verses. So to take us through all those verses mm. requires a lot of time. Now, someone may be wondering, ah, <laughs> that is a long time. Haven't you been here for so long? Because I believe there's quite a number that you have worked on already. How long has Bible Society been in Uganda? So Bible Society started in 1968 mm. before Uganda. And uh, so we have been here for quite some time, yes, although translation work started earlier. So translation work started um, with under the British and Foreign Bible Societies, and that's why we have the first Bible in Uganda mm -hmm. that came out in 1896. So that shows that uh, translation work started even before the Bible Society mm. was born in Uganda in 1968. And so far, we are talking of 20 languages that are covered. Mm. And uh, you know very well that uh, Uganda has so many languages. So out of those many, uh, some say 46, others these days are expanding it to 53 languages. Mm. And so we have complete Bibles in 20 languages and then mm. three New Testaments in other 
or languages. So you've already explained to us why translate is because you want people to understand because we will not be able to read Aramaic or Hebrew or even Greek. Uh, I know even people who are learned may not even be able to comprehend but it is such a great job and like you said we have so many languages out there. What languages have you worked on so far? We have uh, worked on Luganda, mm -hmm. we have a Bible in Rinyankore Ruchiga, we have a Bible in Rinyoro Toro, we have a Bible in Lusoga, we have a Bible in Acholi, we have a Bible in Lango, we have a Bible in Alur, we have a Bible in Kumam, we have a Bible in Ateso, we have also a Bible in Ngakaramajong, wow. we have a Bible in Lumasawa, Mm. We have a Bible in Rusamia Lugwe, we have a Bible in Kakwa, we have a Bible in Dopadola, we have a Bible in Kinandi. Kinandi is used by the people in Kasese, but also it crosses to Congo. Mm. We also have a Bible in Lugbara, and we have a Bible in Kinyarwanda, which previously used to serve the people in Kisoro. Mm. But we have the good news to Uganda that this week on 21st of uh, September, we are launching the New Testament in Rufombira. Wow. So the people in Chisoro should be very eager that God is going to be heard speaking to them in their mother tongue. Amen. Previously, they would hear God speak to them in their neighbor's language, mm. but now they are going to have <laughs> the scriptures in their mother tongue. In their own language. In their own yeah. language. I can yeah. only say congratulations. Uh, that is quite Thank a you. scope that is covered. And when we talk about translation, I am reminded of the blind, and I believe that you also have a braille, isn't it? Yes, we do. So mm. we have also transcribed the Bible into braille for mm. our brothers and sisters who have challenges with sight mm. and uh, we have transcribed it automatically in english the <coughs> english sorry english mm -hmm. was the first one and then we have runyankore ruchiga we have also the braille bible in luganda wow. and we have uh, the braille bible in achori and so we are planning also to transcribe the braille bible in other languages so mm -hmm. that our people can be can read the scriptures in their own language mm. and we thank the church of uganda for giving us opportunities whenever possible whenever they are having big functions like consecrations and they allow the blind to take lessons to take the readings in the church wow. and that helps us to recognize that the blind are very important people and they also deserve to be recognized in this world. That is very true. Talk Thank about, uh, that is very, very inclusive and yeah. uh, very mindful. And now that takes me to the projects covered. Can I say that these are all your projects that you have covered or there are some you could share with us? Thank you. This is not all. Bible mm. Society is still working. Mm. We have actually been revising the Bible in actually and uh, this is concluding this year. We have also been revising the Bible in Ateso. That one will really be concluded early next year. Mm. But we are also translating the Old Testament for the Kopsapin, the people of Sebei region. And then we are also translating the Old Testament in Rukonzo. So they were using Kinandi, but they have also told us that Kinandi doesn't speak to them well. So mm. we are working on Rukonzo translation. We are also translating the Rufumbira Old Testament. We are launching the New Testament, but as, as we continue uh, translating uh, the Old Testament as well. Mm. We have also moved very fast to West Nile, and uh, we are translating the Bible in Kebu. We had launched the New Testament in Kebu. Uh, those people of Alangi after Zombo, that is in Zombo district, they have, we are translating the oral Bible in, mm. in their language, and we are also translating uh, the Bible in Rudadili. When we completed the Rumasava wow. Bible, mm. they told us the Northern dialect was not understanding the Central and Southern dialect. So we decided to move in quickly, and we are working on Rudadili translation. Mm. 
Mm. And the God willing, if we get resources next year, mm. we hope also to start a translation in Rugwe. Wow. So those are some of the projects we are running. Mm. But we also have Bible engagement projects. Mm. These are translation projects, but uh, the Bible engagement projects, that's where we have the scriptures for the blind, helping the blind people to read the Bible. We also have what we are calling the Young Samaritan Project. Mm. We used to have a project which was handling the people with the HIV AIDS, but now this has grown into seeing good Samaritans, but who are young, mm. who are of age of 12 to 24. And this project is going to be launched on 14th of December to help the young people develop skills so that even if they have AIDS or they have got tr traumas and they have been traumatized, mm -hmm. but they have a life to live and they, they can continue. Mm -hmm. So we also have a trauma healing project, wow. where, which is a Bible-based. Mm -hmm. So people who have been affected by war or who are traumatized in their families, mm -hmm. in relationships, wow. places of work. So we try to counsel them and approach the trauma that they are facing using the scriptures wow. so those are the projects that we call bible engagement mm. and they are helping us they are helping the ugandans to appreciate the scriptures and put them into practice now that raises the question of how can we be part of those particular ones because it looks uh, something that is not been commonly known when it comes to the bible society mm -hmm. so uh, how does somebody come to benefit from such engagements also to give their skill because there are counselors out there that probably could mm -hmm. come and volunteer how can they be a part of this do they come where <laughs> thank you so much we are located on plot 38 on bombo road Mm. That is uh, before you reach the traffic lights of Wendegia or around the city oil. And uh, we are having a new structure that we are constructing around that area, a new Bible house. And uh, around there, the old Bible house is behind. So behind it, that's where we have our shop, which is continuing to run much as the new structure is going on. And uh, if you don't find us at plot 38, we are also having another smaller office because of the construction on Mawanda Road. So if you don't get us there, then you do have to reach us through our website mm -hmm. or through the phone contacts. But the best is to encourage people to become members of the mm. Bible Church of Uganda. Mm. And the, to become a member you can decide to say, I want to be a lifetime member and I support Bible Society to work for life. And the, there is only a simple requirement. Out of your earnings, out of the blessings God has given you, you contribute one million shillings. And the, that million shillings is paid once and for all. Then you become a life member. And the, that contribution of uh, one million can be paid in installments. So if you, you, are a, uh, you don't earn a lot of money, you can decide to pay in installments of 12, to within 12 months. So as long as you can pay it within one year, then you can become a life member. Then we also encourage corporate organizations to become members, just like uh, Family TV can become a member of Bible <laughs> Society, and they, they contribute only half a million shillings, and this is per year. Then there is also group or uh, congregations, churches can also become members. Now for churches or groups, they contribute 100,000 per year. Then we encourage couples to become members as a couple, and these ones pay 50,000 Uganda shillings. But you may say I'm single, uh, but I need also to become a member. Now singles pay 30,000 Uganda shillings. We have tried to cater for all people. Others say, I'm a junior member, I'm a student, I, I don't have a lot of money. Then students, especially children, they pay 5,000 shillings. Mm. And then others may say, well, I don't want to have voting rights, but I want to be <laughs> an associate member. So associate members pay 10,000. Okay. But the rest of the members would have voting rights. And also someone may want to serve the work 
of God mm -hmm. and decide to give provide a Bible to those who cannot afford a Bible every month. So we have a club that we call Bible uh, Bible Month Club. So someone commits himself or herself and say, every month I will be donating a Bible to someone. It may not necessarily be um, the amount that buys the whole Bible, even if you mm. say I will be contributing 10,000, 20,000, or even 100, as long as it is paid per month to mm. help us provide scriptures for those who cannot afford to have the scriptures. Mm. And on top of that, we also encourage members to participate in the Bible Week, which we normally celebrate uh, at the beginning of uh, December uh, and late at the close of November. So for the liturgical churches, we usually do it in the first week of Advent, but for churches that don't celebrate uh, their calendar that way, we mm. have it at the beginning of uh, December. And this year, we are encouraging people to participate in the Bible week. Mm. And in that week, we encourage people to read the scriptures and then the churches also to give donations and contribute towards Bible, uh, Bible work. And their contributions help us to subsidize the cost of the Bible. Mm. Otherwise, the Bible would be very expensive mm. because of the type of paper we use uh, the paper is thin and if you print the words don't go through mm. but it is very strong and yet um, the Bible is still having a bigger volume so the price would have been so high mm. but the contributions people make through membership through church contributions help us subsidize it I just wanted to let you know that we compete with the cigarette smokers <laughs> on the type of paper we use. Mm, yeah. Because now when people smoke a lot, then they increase the price of the mm. Bibles. So if you want the Bible to be cheaper and affordable, discourage smoking and the paper will be cheaper and yes. also contribute as churches towards Bible society work. Well, I, I was wondering why we take Bibles to prisons and before you know it, they're nowhere mm. until we found out that they use them to smoke. So they control them a lot. It's because it's the same paper. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you've had, let us discourage smoking in order for us to have the word and have it in plenty. Because I know people who actually would want to have a Bible, but because of the cost, sometimes they put it off and you find that this is very very good and i can attest to it that when you go to bible house actually the bible is even cheaper than in any other bookstore so yeah we ought to work together to ensure that we have the word of god in circulation now we could be uh, headed to that talk of the bible house you know because uh, the old is phasing out we're working on the new and how far are we and what help would you need Thank you so much for asking that question. Mm. Yes, the construction of the new Bible house um, started uh, quite some time back. And uh, so far, we have uh, been in construction for the last two years mm. uh, with my former predecessor, um, Dr. Simon, late Dr. Simon Peter Muhammad. May so rest, rest in peace. In peace yes. um, we he started this uh, 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 construction with faith that it would be through. And the purpose was the rent that would come from uh, this uh, structure would help us to facilitate translation and also subsidize the cost of the Bibles, plus also providing scriptures for the blind. He actually suggested that we should dedicate a floor for the people with visual disability. And uh, so far, we have the physical um, construction, the master house. We have covered 89%. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we are encouraging Christians, organizations to support us so that we can conclude the work that was started by our good people, our good leaders. And uh, the constructors have requested us to provide them with the resources they need. And then they gave us four months to be through so that by beginning of uh, next year we have uh, our anchor tenants entering mm. and then the resources that will come from there can facilitate the work that we do mm. so we are encouraging churches to contribute 
and we are encouraging individuals to contribute towards this construction. We have put categories mm. of, uh, const of how people can contribute. We have what we are calling platinum. Now on platinum, um, someone can be blessed by God and say, I'm willing to contribute 100 million. So you join the platinum category. Then we also have the diamond category. Now for the diamond, you contribute 75 million. Then we have gold. Gold, you contribute uh, 50 million. Mm. Then we have silver. And silver, you contribute 25 million. Silver has the highest number of contributors, mm. maybe because uh, it, it shines so much yeah. and, they, <laughs> and people want to yeah. shine and mm. come out clear. Mm. So we also have bronze where people can contribute 10 million. And then we have wood where you can contribute between 1 million to 5 million. Anything mm. within that range, you fall in the category of wood. But we also encourage other contributions, other mm. donations. Mm. Even if it doesn't count to that tune, you can still bring it up and uh, it helps us. We are saying any coin counts. Oh, yes, and does. we also have the coin, the teens, coin teens that we are encouraging churches to take on, mm. families to take on, where you, even you can put it on your work desk and you'll be putting in the coins that you have or the notes that you think you can forego. You mm. may decide to forego coffee just to add a brick wow. to the new Bible house. And so all Ugandans, all organizations, are called upon to come in and support this noble cause. Oh, yes. And I want to add my voice to his. Every organization, every office should have a, a teen, actually. Yeah. That is the easiest Thank way you. to get money from people. Have a teen at your reception. Let people drop in that coin, that extra note for towards the building of the Bible house. And yes, let us contribute in platinum, in silver, in bronze. Wood, I want to remind you, the Bible says that every man's work shall be tested, whether yes. it be of God or of wood. But no worries, you shall burn up and you shall remain. But anyways, that is jokes aside. We need to collect how, how it doesn't matter how much you have, really. And I want you to uh, put an emphasis on uh, the website. You spoke about the website, but you did not share it with us. So that somebody can go there and see what they can do. Before I talk about the website, I mm -hmm. wanted to let you know that we have a mobile money number mm. that we can use uh, for someone to send in their contributions. Our MTN line is 0772 one, our MTN line for sending in contributions to Bible site work is mm. zero seven seven six one two three four zero one, and then the Airtel line is zero seven five two seven zero eight four four five. But these days we also have the what we are calling the Momo Momo Pay, yeah. and for Momo Pay you dial star one six five star four star four hash, and then you will have a merchant code which is you use BSU, which is standing for Bible Society of Uganda BSU. And then you put a reference. Uh, there, the reference you determine what you are contributing for. Are you contributing for Bible House? Are you contributing for Bible Week? Or you are contributing for translation? And once you do that, you put the amount, and then you enter the pin, and then we shall receive receive the money. And then she asked about the website. Our website is www.biblesociety dash uganda dot org don't okay. use underscore but you just put dash uganda in between and also membership you can also register yourself as a mm. member online you just go to www dot uh, bsu membership dot org 
and then you'll be able to register yourself as a member. Okay. And then you send in your contributions. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Serumaga Peter Lumbuye. Our time is fast spent, but thank you for staying with us. And I ask you to remain because we're getting into issues at hand. Thank you for. <laughs> Broadcasting from the heart of.